Okay, in this Dream Weaver lesson, I'm going to show you how to set out your pages in a much nicer way. And it's also going to give you a lot more control about where things go on your screen. At the moment, we're just limited to um, aligning to the left, centering, or aligning to the right. Okay, we can just make things go underneath, but really we don't have a lot of control over where things go. So what we're going to do is going to change that today. I'm going to make a bit of room at the top of my page here just by pressing return and then clicking back at the top. And in that space there, I'm going to create a layout table. I'm going to go up to the top here, find this button that says table. And when you click that button, up pops this um, dialog box. And it asks you a few questions. How many rows and how many columns do you want? Should have three and three in there. Um, that's fine. I'll leave that. I can always change it later if I'm not happy with three, three rows and three columns. But that'll do to start with. Uh, my table width I've set to 100%. Now what that means is it will be 100% of the screen um, no matter how big the screen is. Um, you will have to change that because yours will start on start off at, at 200 pixels, which is actually quite small. So just change that. Um, the border thickness is zero. That means there is no border, which means the table is invisible. If I put one, I've got a thin border. If I put 10, I've got a fat border. But I want my table to be invisible. It's still there. You just can't see it. Cell padding, cell spacing. You can explore those on your own. OK, and straight away you can see that I have got this 3x3 three three table. The lines are dotted because they are invisible, but when I'm working on it I can't have them being invisible, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see the table. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stuff into the table, but because I have these different boxes or cells, I can decide where I want things to go. So the title here, obviously, is going to go at the top in the middle. But that's not in the middle, so what I need to do is just center it up. Okay, so that's now in that cell in the middle. Now the text, the main body of text, I'm going to go underneath there, and I'm going to center that up as well. So click in the cell and click center. Now the picture, I want actually to sit next to my text, and I can do that now because I've got this cell, which has got a bit smaller, but it's over there. So what I'm going to do is grab the picture and just drop it in there. And now you see I can have the picture sitting next to the text. And I couldn't do that before. I've still got some cells over here which I could type in if I wanted to. Or I could put another picture in. Or I could put another copy of that picture. That'll make it nice and symmetrical. There we are. Look at that. That looks pretty good. So if I want to add more um, columns or rows, I just can go down to this bottom corner of the table there and click that. I've now selected the whole table and you can see that I've got rows and columns here. So let's see if I can just add another row. Yeah, there you go. See, so now I've got another row. I can also merge cells because I might want those two cells to be together. And that's dead easy. You just click this merge button down here and now I've made one big box. Okay, so by using layout tables, you get a lot more control over where you put things. In the next lesson, we'll be seeing how to do um, more pages and how to link to those pages. Okay, and that's the end of this one.